everybody, I'm Denise Austin. And I'm her daughter, Katie Austin. And we're so excited to give you a workout, all presented by Verizon. It's so important now more than ever to be connected to your loved ones, so we both upgraded our Verizon plans, and now it is time to lead you guys through an amazing 30-minute cardio sculpt workout to be connected to your health as well. Yes, stay fit and strong together. So let's do it. All right, so we're gonna start with some deep breaths. Inhale up. And exhale. Again, deep breath. Inhale, bring in that oxygen. It equals energy. And exhale out any stress. And let's warm up through the chest and the shoulders. Stretch your arms. Feeling good. Getting the oxygen to every cell of your body. Adding a little bit of a bounce with your lower body as well. Really reach for the sky. Open up your chest right here. Oh, feels so good. Bring in that good energy. You can do it. Yes, I'm going to be doing the low impact, easy on the joints. That's it. So you can follow me if you're just starting out or if you've been exercising, you can do Katie's way. A little more challenging. Let's take it forward now. Like you're swimming. That's it. Stretch it. So good for the low back. That's great. Good. Stretch it all out. Oh, it feels so good. Two more. Last one. Relax. Let's stretch to the side and to the other side. And now really reach. You got it. <laughs> really stretch out that side body. Again, getting your lower half involved as well. Getting the blood circulating with this warm-up. We are just getting started. Beginning with a wonderful warm-up, a dynamic stretching to get that body ready for a full workout. We're going to tone muscles, burn some fat and calories. Just do the best you can from our home to yours and crisscross. Go across, stretch it, that's it. Beautiful, you can do it. Feels so good to get that body moving. Get stronger, healthier. Now more than ever, it's important to improve our immune system and feel good. That's it. Two more. Last one. Okay, side to side now. Get that body moving, you can do it. This is all easy on the joints. Do the best you can. Smile, we're gonna burn some body fat. <laughs> Get even lower. Feel it in your thighs. Yes, your I lower know. half starts to activate. Did you know the exercising the lower half of the body, the bigger muscles, burn more calories quicker? Gets you warmed up faster. Yes. Good. Three, two, and one. All right, let's windmill it out. So come down right here, side lunge, touch that toe, and switch. Feel that stretch oh, as you keep great posture in this as well. Zip up those abs, pull in your tummy. Yes, the more we practice that, the better our tummy will stay nice and flat. Good. Here we go, let's speed it up now. Fast windmills. I'm going all the way down, touching this toe, but as you can see, my mom is not all the way going down. Just feel free to stay right at your knees. This is so good for that rear end. Look great from behind. <laughs> good. Three, two. On this last one, we're gonna drop in some body weight squats. Here we go. Squat low, pick it up. Squat, push off those heels. Keeping your chest tall and strong. Your shoulders back. Notice Katie's sitting way back. The weight is through the heels. Be very, very certain about this technique, keeping your knee in line with your toes. Sitting back really, really activates the glute muscles to lift and tone that tushy. It's what we all need, right? <laughs> Good. We have three for two on this last one. We're holding at the bottom. One, hold, pulse. Here we go. Really start to feel your thighs burn, your booty. This is one of the last parts of the warm up. And then we're gonna get right into it. So Woo! catch your breath, inhale, and exhale, let it go. One more big deep breath, and exhale, relax. Woo! Okay. Woo! Shake it off just a little bit, shake it off. And now let's get into the workout. Okay, let's march in place, come on. Just pick up those knees. We're starting a little lower and then picking up the pace. Do the best that you can. This workout is for you, so let's get going. Now remember to really pump those arms. I know it's just a jog in place right here, but pumping those arms will burn some more calories. That's right, the more muscles you use, the more calories you burn. That's right.
Now pick up the pace a little more. That's it. A little light jog. You can do it. Good. A little knees up. That's it. Come on, Come on. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mama. Okay. Come on, Mama. <laughs> I can do it. Yes. <laughs> Everybody can give it a try. Stay here if you want to make it easy. Easy on the body. Stay right here. That's it. Woo. Two more. Okay, let's do some chest presses. Open and close. This is now firming up the upper part of the body. Keeping the muscles all working, burning the calories, keeping the heart rate up, burning more calories, working the heart. That's it. Thinking about good posture, zip up those abs. Yes. Good. Great for your chest muscles. Inhale. And exhale, no weights needed even. I feel this burn. Yes. Tighten up those biceps. Inhale, we have three. For two. And one, relax. Look at those triceps now. So take it back, hold up here. Now let's add those feet. So tap back, bring it together, tap back. Just like that, beautiful mom. Good. This is also great for the back of those arms, the triceps. So you're getting your heart rate up, still moving and firming the muscles. So you're doing two activations at once. Your arms right here, your legs are moving, that's it, to burn calories. Good. If you want to get a little lower, make it a little tougher, you can do it. That's it, keep those elbows up, tone and firm, so when we wave goodbye, nothing will jiggle. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> two more. Last one, okay, let's work it side to side now. Let's heel lift to the buttocks and begin doing bicep curls, whoop! That's it for the arms. <laughs> and just have fun with it, you guys. It's why we do in-home workouts right here. Doesn't matter what you look like, just keep moving, have fun with it. <laughs> That's it, we're gonna firm up those muscles, the biceps, and the back of those thighs, the hamstrings, great. Add a little bit of a bounce with it, get it lower. Add to do these bicep curls, get low, feel in your booty. Woo! <laughs> nice work. Three, two, and one. Great, we're gonna come into a nice side lunge with a nice leg lift. So side lunge here and leg lift. Beautiful, really elongate that leg. Feel it in your outer thighs right here. Inhale and exhale. Love it, mom, get those arms involved. Yes. yes. <laughs> Whole body workout, total body, yes. This is great for that rear end, the legs. Keep your abs strong, core muscles, that's it. Last one, and switch. Okay. Inhale, and exhale. Great, leg lift. Again, feel this in your outer thighs right here. It's also great for the sides of your waistline and the sides of your thighs. That's right, no more saddle bags. Target toning, firming, zero in on those legs. Really push off, feel it through the heel. That's it. You can do it, you guys. Come on. Keep moving. Last three. Two. And one. Relax. Shake Woo! it up right here. Shake it off. We're going to take it up a notch and bring it back retro style with some grapevine. So are you ready to have some fun? Yes. All right. Let's start to the right first. Okay. Here you go. Grapevine. And jump. Here we go. Have fun with it. Now we're going to move. All you need is four feet of space in your house. No excuses, we got you. No equipment needed, just you and a happy smile. Woo! Feel this in your calves as you jump. Just like me. I love it. My original <laughs> grapevine for years. I've been doing this, I love it. 
Keeps moving. Last one. And shake it off right here. Step, touch it out. Inhale. And exhale. Great. Okay, we're gonna get into little skiers. You can do this now. Come on. A little interval training here, a little hip workout. <laughs> but keep it fun, retro. Keep it light. All okay. right. I'm level one. I'm gonna stay right here. That's and I'm it. level two. So get that booty into it. Jump and ski it out right here. Really get your arms into it as well. Sit back with that squat. I love this one, Katie. Woo! Good. Get those legs firm. Booty lifted. That's it. Woo! Here we go. Almost there for three, two. Step, touch it out in one. Woo! Great work, you guys. All right, a little pony now. Taking you back. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> Great, a little retro aerobics here. For those of you that want to add a little jump, go ahead, just jump it out. That's it, great, have fun. Some of you remember the pony? <laughs> Good, that's great. Bringing it back to the 80s right here, y'all. <laughs> Good, just have fun, that's the whole idea. You got it, come on. Getting the heart rate up, burning fat, improving your stamina, getting energy. Improving your endurance. That's it. So you be stronger, faster. Just like Verizon. Stronger, faster. <laughs> Good. Two more. Last one. Okay, take it out. Shake it out. Good. Are you ready? We're going to do a little scoops. Scoop to the side. Scoop it. You can lift your body if you want on this one. Lift. Really tighten up those biceps too. Get your arms into it. Bend those knees. Keep breathing, here we go. You can come forward to us. Let me see that smiling face. Burning some butter. <laughs> Take it back. Good. Take it forward. Great. Take it back. Half one. Two more. Take it forward. That's it. Last one. Take it back. Great. Okay, kick it out now. Kick it out. That's it. What do you call this one? The towels? <laughs> yeah. The towels did. Takes a little coordination, but kick with that front foot, back tap with opposite foot, get into it. Really feel that reverse lunge as you come back. Get your arms into it, punch it out right here. Again, doesn't matter what you look like. Just keep moving. Yes. Here we go. Can you get those legs. Yeah. Good. You can get as low as you want if you want. Or lift time. Changing the levels really helps burn extra calories. Two more. Last one. Okay, shake it out. Let's go to the other side. Here we go. Okay. Kick down. Great. Nice work, Mom. Good. Just do what you can now. You can do this. Do you guys want to come all the way down like I am? Touch that toe. Get that booty involved. Nice work. Don't forget to pump those arms. That's it. Great. Doesn't matter how high you're kicking, how low you're kicking. Engage that core. We have three, two, back to step touch in one. Great. Step touch right here. We have four steps next. So inhale and exhale. This one, we feel this in your thighs and your booty. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. Ready? Yes. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Great. Get that booty involved. Add those arms. I love this. Keep moving. You got it. Burn those calories. Feeling good. The energy is flowing. Yes. You got it. Get even longer. Nice work. Five. Woo! Finish strong. Four. Three. We're gonna slow down after this. In two. And one. Relax. Woo. Step, touch, walk it out. This right here. Step, touch again. Inhale up. And exhale. 
great. We have some total body tone moves next. So slow down that heart rate. Inhale and exhale. Wonderful. One last big deep breath. Breathe in. Great. What we're first gonna do is start with a nice curtsy lunge. So standing tall and strong, let's take this left leg back, curtsy, and bring it up. Same leg. Curtsy, bring it up. Beautiful. Add those arms. Bicep curl. Total body. Here we go. Firm and shape those arms. Sculpted legs. That's it. Works the inner thighs. No more jigglies inside there. Come on. Firm up those muscles. 640 muscles of the body. Firmy, tony, shapey, sculpty. Last one, and switch. Take it down and up. Once you've mastered these curtsy lunges, out those arms. That's it, really firm those arm muscles. Feel strong, good posture. That's it, you're feeling good. Proud of you, keep moving. You're keeping that metabolism revved up as you keep moving. That's it, low impact, sit back. Great for the inner thighs. Nice work, last two, last one. Let's work those abs out. So, hands and tall behind your head. Open up that chest, inhale and exhale. Start to slowly bring those knees towards your chest, just like that. Beautiful, abs and tight. Nice work, mom. <laughs> I need the extra help. Zip up those abs. This also works the lower part of your abs. So important to keep strong. The lower part of the rectus abdominis. So if you want to work on those abs, do this exercise with us. That's it, standing abs. Isn't that great? You focus on your abdominals, you really feel it. Engage the core muscles, pull in. That's it. Now let's just twist a little bit. Opposite knee to elbow. Get those obliques working right here. But keeping great posture, keep that chest tall and strong. And every time you come to that knee, I want to hear you exhale. The more you breathe, the more you're really gonna engage that core. Here we go. You're only getting out of this as much effort as you're putting in. So let's see it. Pull in those abs, really pull in the belly button into the abdominals, into the spine. Pull it in, hollow it out so it trains to pull in as you exhale. That's excellent. This is working those waistline muscles, the obliques, the area we all need. No more muffin top for us, come on. We can do it. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Now my mom's gonna move. Twist oh, it right yes, there. my favorite. Are you waistline? Yes. This is the area I think everybody wants to focus on. The middle, the waistline, the center of your body. Keeping it strong, keeping it healthy. That's it. As you're doing this, really tighten up your abs. That's it. Beautiful. And twist. Good for the waistline. Rotating the waist also helps your back. Your back, your spine is your lifeline. Keep it healthy, keep it strong. You got it. Nice work. Punch it out now. Punch it out. Good. Punch it out. All right. Good. All for the core. But pull in those abs. Tone and tighten up through the abdominals. We've got one more. Last one. Now hold it right here. We're going to do a side crunch in. Across the body. That's it. Good. Concentrated ab exercise. Cinch in the waistline. Yes, and making sure you're really using your lower abs to bring that knee towards your chest. You're squeezing that glute as you do that back tap. It's a nice low impact cardio move right here. We got three, for two, and one. Switch, here we go, arms go out, knee comes up, drive it towards your chest. Beautiful. This really helps to cinch in the sides of the waistline so they go in, so really concentrate. Really get it in, focus, that's it. Think good technique, really pull in. 
Nice work. For three, for two, and one. Woo! Left. Shake it off just a little bit. We have a few more total body toning moves, but this time we're gonna do a little partner exercise. Okay. Here. So it doesn't matter if you guys don't have a partner, you guys can totally do it with yourself or grab on a chair for extra support. So I'm gonna start off with some nice leg lifts. Grab onto your loved one. Stay connected together. <laughs> this is great for the outer thighs. That's right. Slim and trim those saddle bags. Right there. Now, if someone's taller than you, that's okay. Just hold on. <laughs> Good. You can do this right alone. That's okay, too. Stand tall. Zip up the abs. Pull in. Think good posture. Two more. Last one. Okay. Shake it off. Good work. I feel that one. So do I. It's mm -hmm. great to keep your hips healthy, too. We're working the whole body. Head to toe workout here. Zip up the abs. Think tall. Think good posture. Good posture is the key to that flat belly. Always zip it up. Come on. The more you practice pulling it in, the better naturally it will stay tucked in. Re-educating those abs. Nice work, last one. Relax. Woo. All right, we've got some partner squats next to work the booty and the hamstrings. So we are going to take one arm, opposite arms, hold on to each other, twist it out, squat, rotate, grab onto your partner and squat. You guys can feel free to do a regular squat to twist. If you guys don't have anyone with you or ask a friend to join in with you to do it virtually together. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Good. Exercising at home is one of the easiest ways to stay healthy, to stay strong. It's convenient in the privacy of your own home. Stay fit with us together. Beautiful. Woo! Give us a few more. Okay. Great for that tushy. Squeeze your buttocks, because if you don't squeeze it, no one else will. <laughs> Last one. Okay. And relax. All right, we're gonna do some reverse lunges. And again, not necessary if you don't have a partner with you. Just come down, reverse lunge. Stay right here. But if you do have a partner, what I want you guys to do is reverse lunge down and kick it out, just like that. Nice work, Mom. <laughs> I'm doing just a mini lunge to protect my knees. Just a mini one works. It still firms and tones your thighs. Good. We have two. And one. Relax and switch. Again, just a basic reverse lunge right here. Stay on one side at first. Touch. Just give it a try. Add it Nice. Kick right here. Really, really works on your balance. Balance through your core right here. We have three. Last two. And relax, shake it. Woo! <laughs> Another lunge variation that we love to work both your legs and your core is a nice front lunge to twist. So you're gonna front lunge it out, straight arms twist towards that leg that is out lunging in front of you. Just like that, beautiful. This is also so good for your core muscles, the waistline, tighten up those abs, full body workout. Here you go. Take a forward twist. As you twist, tighten those abs. Great. Just two more, you can do it. Forward really twist. Great. Last one, twist. Beautiful. Now it's time to firm the upper back and work on our postural muscles. What we're gonna do is just tap it out, lift your arms and down, lift and down. This is now target toning the upper back. Beautiful back muscles. They improve your posture. No more bra overhang. This is where we're targeting. You don't even need weights, as long as you kind of focus on the muscle. Good technique. Really pull your abs up and in and pull your shoulder blades together. That's it. Just a few of these really work. I feel this in my back. Good. No weights needed. Just squeeze those back muscles, those shoulders together. Here we go. For three, two, one. Relax. Beautiful. Shake it off. And now it is ready to cool down. So give us a nice deep inhale up. And exhale. And bring your arms all the way back up. And fingertips to the tippy top. And let's bend at the waistline. 
for your entire body, your side body. Lift the chest up. Smile, you did it. Proud of you. Lift up and over to the other side. Working through the waistline. So good for your back, for your spine. Lengthens and strengthens the muscles and it helps to improve flexibility. That's it. One more and relax. Now relax the shoulders, lift them up and around. Really full body stretch, opening up through the chest. One of my favorite stretches. Anytime you feel stress and tension or neck or shoulder pain, do this exercise. It will help reach through that muscle and give good circulation because circulation is what helps heal your body. Great, and switch. Great. Really focus on your breath right here. Inhale through your nose and exhale. Wonderful, open up your chest. Open up your lungs to get more oxygen flowing through you. We have three, two, on this last one. Leave your feet right here planted. A little more hip width apart, toes pointed outwards. We're gonna come right here, place those hands over your knees and turn in one shoulder. Oh, I love this stretch, you guys. It feels so good. It's great for your shoulders. Great, keep switching out. Only hold on each side for about four or five seconds to really focus on your breath right here. Only hold on each side for about three to four seconds to really focus on your breath right here, you guys. Inhale and exhale. Great, last one and relax. All right, one of the other favorite stretches of ours right here is again, opening up the hips, take that ankle right here, place it across one knee, place a little bit of pressure, sitting back in a nice chair position. My mom is holding on to me right now. For I need the seconds. balance. <laughs> That's okay. You could use a chair, the couch, whatever you have right there at home, the wall. Oh, doesn't that feel great, you guys? This is one of the best hips, thighs, and buttocks stretch. Almost push your buttocks backwards so you get the extra stretch. Oh, it feels so good. Excellent stretch. Good. Let's do a hamstring stretch, placing your foot in front of you and hips go back, placing your hands on your upper thighs and stretch out the hamstrings. If your hamstrings are nice and flexible, it keeps your back healthy. Breathe. That's it. Switch legs. Toe comes up. You're stretching your calves, your hamstring. Hold and release. Now it's time to stretch the front of your thighs, the quadriceps. Again, you can hold on to somebody or balance yourself. Whatever you can. Squeeze your buttocks. Push your hips slightly forward to feel that extra stretch. And switch legs. That's it. Tall. Heels of the buttocks, squeeze the buttocks. Really feel the front of your thighs, the hip flexors. Great. And let's take a deep breath together. Bring in the oxygen and let out any stress. Beautiful. Great work, you guys. Inhale, hold at the top. Inhale all that positivity. And as you exhale, as you take that last deep breath, exhale all that negative, that stress, anxiety that you're feeling right now. And last but not least, roll those shoulders down and back to release that tension. And of course, if you're feeling a little generous, you guys can give your loved one a little massage right here. Oh, mini massage. To feel so bonded, good. to feel connected. And we just really wanted to bring you guys this workout because it is so important to connect with your loved ones right now, especially over health and happiness. We love you guys. Stay healthy, stay connected, and enjoy this workout. Thank you so much, Verizon. We will see you guys next time. Love you.